Many of you guys have been asking me to show my shiny Pokédex collection. In this video, we're gonna do just that as we're gonna check out over 500 shiny Pokémon that I've registered into my Pokédex collection. Alright, so hi, hi to all of you guys! So first things first, let's go ahead and bring my screen up and we're gonna check out in the Pokédex because we have over 500 shiny Pokémon to check out as we're gonna see it from over here as many of you guys have been asking for it. I've caught a total of 522 different shiny Pokemon and I believe there should be more because it's not fully registered and also I've not evolved a couple of them also. Seen a total of 544, basically I've not caught a total of 22 but I don't think that's the actual amount. And also um, in the Pokedex, it will show the number, the Pokedex number but it may not actually be available for a shiny form yet as I'm making this video. So alright, we're going to check out all the way from um, the Generation 1 first. As you guys can see, I've gotten a total of 149 shiny Pokemon from the Kanto region all the way, um, just showing you guys everything right now. I know it's going to be a very long video if I want to show you guys every single one of them, but I'm going to talk about the missing ones that I do not have. And one thing that I also like to point out, which is I do not trade for any shinies that I don't already have. So hence, whenever people offer me like a shiny Mine Junior, for example, which I have not gotten by myself, I will actually decline the offer. Likewise for um, Pokemon that um, I've not even a hatched it or even a raided for it, I will not trade for it as long as I do not have it registered to my Pokedex, to my shiny Pokedex, I will not accept it as a trade. So anyway, you guys can see for the Pokedex number 122, that is actually Mr. Mime, which uh, I need to refer to my phone because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them that I'm missing and it's going to be very difficult to remember every single one of them. So yep, Shiny Mr. Mime, I do not have that at all because um, I've not travelled to Europe uh, to actually hunt for Shiny Mr. Mime and uh, I've not been lucky to actually get the Shiny Mr. Mime through some of those events also in the past. The next one is actually Shiny Taurus which I've not been lucky to get it. So despite the fact that we actually we had a special research for one of the events to actually get uh, Taurus. Um, I've not travelled to America for a while already so hopefully we can get that maybe in the near future. So everything else from the generation 1 is basically fully completed and uh, another thing though, uh, some of them were caught like in the wild without even uh, doing the evolution at all. Example like a shiny Charizard which I remember catching that in the wild um, as a shiny Charizard that was quite insane actually and uh, even for some of them which I've gotten through raids also, shiny Snorlax was the one that I feel that was really really hard to get. I only have one and that's the one that I got from the wild, it wasn't from the Go Fest or whatever event itself. Um, other than that though, a lot of them had Community Day and luckily for Kanga Scan though, and that's the one that actually came in the form of a special event at Kanga Scan, the Ultra Unlock Week or bonus that we could rate uh, for Kanga Scan if I remember correctly. Alright, as for the legendaries, all completed. Okay, and of course Shiny Me also. As for Generation 2 though, um, gotten every single starter obviously because all of them had Community Day already. Eventually, um, all the baby Pokemon such as Pichu, such as Iglybuff, Togepi and Togetic and whatsoever have been completed except one and that is number 173 that is Clefa. Clefa is not available, the baby Pokemon of Clefairy, the shiny form is not available yet so hence nobody has that in Pokemon Go as I'm making this video today. So um, everything else has already been registered especially um, those that's pretty also hard to get um, such as um, you know um, whatever Slugmar. Slugmar was quite hard to get though, um, you had to grind really hard for it and some of them, especially those full odds one. Of course, if you talk about Comedy Today, Shiny Pokemon like Swine Up, that should be relatively easy to get if you have been playing consistently. Whereas for Shiny Heracross wise, I do not have it. Uh, if you guys remember, hashtag Heras Niantic in the month of August last year, I did not rate hard at all for Heracross. In fact, I think I only did like one or two Heracrosses raids. Eventually, I did not want to spend money on Pokemon Go during that month, so hence I couldn't get it and uh, it was very tough to get it. I think Heracross came back in raids after that and I did even rate hard for it also. But it's not to, it's not a problem because I guess uh, we can get it once we make our way to um, America and hopefully we can get it um, in the WoW or something like that. So the next one is going to be Corsola. This Corsola that I would like to talk about was really really lucky. I got this in Cebu City just recently, a couple of months ago though. And uh, that to me is one of the hardest shiny to get. Uh, from generation 2, I wouldn't say it's the hardest, but it's one of the hardest. Alright, Raymond Roy, I've not gotten that yet, pretty unlucky with that. 
and I uh, did not attend the event. I think it was a safari event or something like that that he came out at. I did not get that. For mankind wise, I did not get it despite making a video to actually grind hard for spotlight hour for mankind. So I did not get this. All right. And then eventually for the Pokedex number 231, that is Fampi. Fampi is available as the shiny form. However, I've seen Domfen in the gym in the shiny form, but not Fampi. But uh, Fampi, um, I've not gotten that yet. Hopefully, I can get it in the future, maybe through an event, a spotlight hour or something like that. As for Pyrope, though, that's one of the hardest also to get to hatch. Actually, it's the most recent baby shiny Pokemon. And uh, I've not evolved it into a Hitmon top. I think I could do it, but I do not want to do it. I actually have two shiny Hitmon, uh, not Hitmon, but a Tyrox, but I did not evolve it at all. Another one that I'd like to point out is actually Smurgo, which is also pretty hard. You guys still remember the very first Smurgo snapshot that I did that when shiny Smurgo was available, I actually was able to get it. And if you guys uh, caught that video, so awesome. So other than that though, uh, baby Pokemon for like Musmucham, in fact the one with the bow, etc. I've already gotten that. Uh, shiny Alakid, Shiny Magby, and a uh, Mail Tank also one of the hard ones to get also. As for the other legendary Pokemon, uh, all, of, all of them uh, have been caught. In fact, uh, Shiny Celebi also. So the next generation, Generation 3 though, all the starter Pokemon as usual had community days. So they are all completed. Whereas for Pokedex number 266, that is Silkun. Alright, and then uh, 267 is Beautifly, which is the evolution of Wurmple. However, I did not do that evolution. I could actually do that to try my luck to get Silkun or Beautifly. It's basically a 50% chance to get it. Uh, looking at it, you guys can see that I'm pretty lazy to actually do the evolution. I have a lot of Wurmples which I can actually do the evolution of. And uh, I think I have also transferred away like a handful of Wurmples, so uh, maybe I could do that. So anyway, all the other uh, shiny Pokemon. Uh, has been registered other than for 283. 283 is Suskit and then uh, the second stage evolution 284 is Masquerine which those two are not available in Pokemon Go yet. Next one is Shroomish which I have not evolved to Breloom which I caught during the Go Fest this year if you guys uh, watched the video already in Cebu City and then committed today for Slacking for Slack Off actually and then uh, Shiny Ninkada and Shiny uh, Ninjask but the thing that does not have the shiny form yet is Shiny Shedinja, which is number 292, which is not available yet. Shiny Shedinja is not available. Maybe it will come this year during the month of Halloween, October. Who knows? Alright, so the other shiny has already been registered. One of the hardest one that I felt was quite hard to get at the first time when it was released was Shiny Sable Eye. First time I got this was back in the year 20. 19 when I was in Taiwan, I was just randomly grinding walking along the streets and I actually managed to get it Really really happy to get it and then uh, eventually um, We check out the number 316 that is Gaupin and then 317 the second stage evolution of Gaupin Swallowed also not available those two shinies are not available yet in Pokemon Go uh, Pokedex number 324 that is Torkoal shiny form also not available the region regional Pokemon of Thailand and also Malaysia Alright, certain parts of Malaysia. So a uh, shiny number was the one of the most recent shiny that was released, especially during GoFest. Managed to evolve that into Camera Up also. Mega Camera Up will be available in the future also, but it's not going to be a really good Mega to be honest. Alright, Trap Inch of course completed because um, it was committed today. As for Spinda wise though, um, I think I only got one shiny Spinda, but it shows everything as long as you have caught like the normal form also. But uh, yeah, I only have one shiny Spinda. Uh, if my memory serves me right for Cacnea wise number 331 it's not available likewise for the second stage evolution Cacturn also not available whereas uh, the next one that we'll be looking at is actually number 341 341 is actually Corpish and the second stage evolution Crawdot Crawdot is they are both available they came out during the Seville uh, Safari Zone a few months back but I did not manage to get the, the Corpish at all so um, other than that though, a lot of the other uh, shiny Pokemon such as uh, Lunatone and even Sorok, they have been uh, appearing in the wild pretty often and hence I think I've gotten like a lot of those already. I probably have gotten um, at least 8 for each or maybe even more than 10 for each and I've gotten rid of a lot of them. Alright, for uh, survival wise though, I don't think I've gotten more than 1 or 2 so that's pretty rare to me. Uh, Zangoose wise, I've gotten a handful already and as for the next uh, Pokemon that we will be talking about is the number 352 Cacleon which is not available at all in Pokemon Go, not even the shiny form is available. So looking at number 357 that is Tropius, Tropius is already available in Pokemon Go but the shiny form is not available yet. Alright, 
So um, the next few shinies that we're looking at is actually Clampero. Clampero evolves into Huntil, which evolves into Gorbis, which I did not evolve to get it, which actually is number 368. I could actually evolve my Clampero to try and get the Gorbis, but I'm too lazy to do it. Number 369 <laughs> is actually Relican. Relican uh, Shiny is not available yet, whereas all the other Shinies, as you guys can see on the screen, uh, the Legendaries and including Beldum and the Pseudo-Legendary Bagon, they're all <clears throat> registered already. Number 385 is actually Jirachi. Jirachi, the mythical Pokemon of Generation 3. Shiny form not available yet. So now into the Generation 4 Sinoff region, we're talking about the first three starter Pokemon as usual all had Community Day already. Whereas number 396, that is uh, Starly, and then Staravia and Staraptor, they all are having a Community Day soon, in a few days as this video is going to be out. So other than that though, uh, Cricketot and even Shinx all had um, events and also Community Day etc. Badu is the one that I actually hatched the most in terms of shiny for baby wise if my memory serves me right. I think I've hatched close to 10 shiny Badu's already but I've gotten a rate, rate of them uh, quite a lot. For Cranidos wise, you guys should know that during the limited research day, um, <laughs> yeah, I got a lot from those events but before the event I already had a couple of them. This one is the one that's quite hard to get though, Burmy. Burmy in the three forms, sand, Sandy Cloak, the Trash Cloak and also the Plant Cloak. I think I've only gotten one of that which is the uh, the Trash Cloak, the Sandy and Plant I did not get. I did not even evolve to get Burmadam which is number 413. Hence why I've got the Moth Team because uh, that has to be a male Burmy whereas the female Burmy would evolve into a Burmadam. So number 415 is actually Combi, uh, following up with 416 is Vespi Queen and then 417 is also Pachirisu, which is the regional Pokemon available in uh, Alaska. However, all those three Pokemon, the shiny forms, ain't available yet. Um, Buizel, wise though, actually I got the shiny pretty early, so I'm pretty okay with that. Whereas, um, if we look at this one though, it's <laughs> not registered yet. I do not have I do not have this. Uh, whereas a princess, she actually managed to go plus herself one. So hopefully I can get myself a shiny Cherubi and also evolve it into Cherim. Uh, Cherim <laughs> for two one. Um, and there are two fonts for Cherims also, so we would have to get both. Whereas for 422 and 423, that's Shellos and Gastrodon, which both Shinies ain't available in Pokemon Go yet. Whereas uh, for number 433, that is Chingling, Chingling, the baby Pokemon of Chimeco, the shiny form ain't available yet. Alright, so other than that though, any Shinies worth talking about? Actually, Bonsly, so Bonsly, I hatched a lot shiny, maybe 5 or 6 also. So that to me ain't that rare already. I mean, I hatched a lot of eggs, but a happy knee, maybe I hatched like three or four, so that's pretty hard to get. All right, so for the number 434, that is Stunky and also Skunk Tank 435. Uh, those two shinies ain't available. 439 is Mime Junior, which like I said, I do not trade for it unless I get it by myself. My friend Julia, who came from Germany to Singapore for a short visit, actually offered me the trade and I declined her offer, but instead she actually traded it to Princess. So 441 though, that's Chatot, a regional Pokemon in Australia, if my memory serves me right. And um, Shiny Form ain't released yet, whereas the Spirit Tomb, this Shiny, it was pretty hard to get though for a lot of people. And I know a lot of people struggled really hard to get it, but I was really lucky to get it uh, pretty early. Alright, so 446 is actually Munchlax, the pre-evolution of Snorlax. The Shiny Form is not available yet, but it'd be nice to see Shiny Munchlax available in the game soon. Riolu is number 447, but the evolution is 448, that is Lucario. However, I did not evolve my Riolu into Lucario. Um, I wish I did that though, so it registered to the decks, but it's totally fine. So, um, all those uh, like Skoropi, uh, Krogang, and um, Hippopotas, pretty okay to get. Hippopotas was the hardest to get among all those three, especially if you want to get both the male and the female. They, yeah, you have to get two basically, so it's quite hard to get. So for 455, that is uh, Carnivine, that is the regional Pokemon available in uh, America or South America region. And then uh, 456, that's Finion, and 457, that is uh, Luminion. The Shinies ain't available yet for all these three Pokemon. Whereas for my type 458, um, that also ain't available. That's the baby, the pre-evolution of Mantine, which like I said, the evolution, the, the shiny is not available yet. 462 is actually Magnezone though. I actually can evolve a shiny Magnemite to actually get the Magnezone, but I did not do that at all because uh, I've been evolving Shadow uh, Magnezones instead. So um, <coughs> I did not register this to the decks. So number 475, that is Gl uh, Gl Glalit. 
Galate, the second evolution of Routes, which you have to evolve a shiny male Routes. Only male Routes can actually evolve into Galate, whereas uh, the female or the male Routes can evolve into Gardevoir. Alright, so 479 is Rotom, which the shiny is not available yet. Palkia is at 484, which I do not have the shiny because of hashtag Hera's Niantic last year in the month of August. I did not rate hard for Palkia at all because I did not want to spend money during the month. Uh, 489, that is uh, Fione, and then uh, Manaphy for 490, that is the mythical Pokemon for the Sinov region, which uh, Fione 489 actually evolves into 490 Manaphy. Alright, so 494 is actually Victini. Alright, so Victini wise, uh, there's no shiny available as for all the generation, I mean the starter Pokemon for this particular generation, they all had community days already. Whereas from number 409 to 518, um, those are Pokemon that uh, either not available or I do not have that. Uh, actually, 513 is Panseer, which the shiny has just been released like a couple of days ago. Uh, basically, you can evolve it into 514 Semiseer uh, to get the shiny, but they are not. Um, they're not coming to me. I've been catching a lot of uh, pens here, man. All right, so uh, Zep Striker, all right, is the one that I do not get. The shiny, I could actually evolve my Blitzel. Uh, or maybe not. My Blitzel is the one with the bow, so maybe it cannot it cannot evolve, yeah. But I saw that in the gym, though. So, all right, uh, for 5, 2, 9, um, why did I put that? I, I, I can't remember, but basically, it's a Pokemon that I think is not available or do you know. Oh, yeah, so... I was telling myself that from generation 5 onwards, I will only talk about those Pokemon that are already available in Pokemon Go. Those that I do not mention will not be available, like example 529 and 530. I do not know what Pokemon they are, but the shiny form ain't available in Pokemon Go yet. Whereas Audino, the shiny form is already available, but I do not have the shiny yet. Whereas for Cottony, number 546, I do not have the shiny and it evolves into Whimsicott. Um, that I do not have the shiny yet also. Alright, so the other shinies that were pretty hard to get was like the ones from Goldfair such as to uh, Throw and even Sock. I mean, this one is the one that spawns in our region, my region. So hence, uh, I do see it pretty often. I got a couple of shinies for that already. Alright, so uh, the next shiny that I did not get is actually uh, Yamask. Yamask is the one that could only be obtained during October Halloween event, which then evolves into Cofregrigus. Alright, uh, number... Number 564, that is Tertuga, Shiny Tertuga, I did not get it, so hence I can't evolve it into Caracosta. And then uh, Archon, number 566, I do not have the Shiny, but it looks super duper nice. Um, hopefully I can get that to evolve it into uh, Archeops. Alright, um, Minshino, for those of you who played the limited research day, this was the Pokemon that got its Shiny release on its debut, meaning it got its shiny on the very first day when this particular Pokemon was released into Pokemon Go through a limited research event. That was really, really awesome. So the next one that I would like to talk about is actually Carablast, which I got during Go Fest and evolved it into Escavalier. And then uh, Fongus actually got a shiny also, which uh, I've not gotten it yet, which evolves into a Mongoose. Not gotten it yet also. So the next shiny uh, that we will be talking about is actually Axel. Axel, I did not get the shiny Axel, but I believe an event will come in the future. So hence why I did not wait hard during the Go Fest event to try to get this shiny partic uh, particular Pokemon. So the next one is the he uh, Hexterus, and of course the second stage evolution of Axel Forexus. Uh, did not get those two. All right, but I got myself the uh, Shelmet, which evolved into uh, Axelgor, and also a uh, Stunfisk. Actually, you know what? Shiny Stunfisk is not available, but the Galarian form is available, so we can actually see the <laughs> the pre the, the, the other form, I guess. All right, Rufflet was the one that was pretty rough to get, though I had to do a lot of raids to get this. I was able to evolve it into Bravery, but eventually they increased the odds of getting it as they increased the shiny odds. All right, the next Pokemon that I did not get is actually Heat More. Up to today, I've not gotten it, and of course, the next Pokemon that is the counterpart of it, Do Run, I've not gotten that shiny also. Pretty unlucky as I've been uh, tapping on every single Heat More that I see in the wild whenever I'm able to. So, other than that, though, Valerie was the one that well, took a very long time to get, also, I actually eventually hatched like three or four shinies of this but the first one took a long time to, to get so the next few ones uh, all those uh, legendary pokemon they have already been opt-in whereas for uh, six four seven six four eight all not available everything all not available yet all right all this uh, now we're going into the next generation generation six carlos region which the shinies were already available the one that i've not gotten yet is actually lit leo um, in the male form, I've evolved it into the female form, I believe so. But the male form is eight times harder to obtain than the female form in the shiny form. 
I mean, even if in the non shiny form, but it's still really hard to get. Anyway, the next Pokemon is Esper. Esper, I've not been lucky to get it, whereas my girlfriend Princess, she was able to get it through a few research, if I remember correctly, evolving it into Melstick, and it has two genders, different genders, so it looks different. I've not been able to get that yet. Hopefully, I can get it soon. Uh, Binnacle, I got one during the Go Fest. I've not evolved it into Barbarico. Maybe I'll do it in the future. Whereas uh, this one, I do not know why it's appearing though, Sylveon, um, I mean, I've already registered it to the Pokedex, um, but yeah, maybe it was before that I did it. So anyway, the next one is Rangus, which I've not evolved into Gumshoes, right? Actually, I did, I did evolve into Gumshoes, maybe you have to get the male one, so I, I, I really do not know, it's really weird. Anyway, as for Rock Ruff, I've hatched a lot of shiny Rock Ruff, I did not get it from raids though, but eventually I managed to get both the Midnight and also the Midday form for the shiny forms. And then as for Stafu, yep, Community Day, alright, and then um, Shiny Zigzagoon in the Galarian form, Galarian Zigzagoon, Obstagoon, is it, is it Galarian? Yeah, it is Galarian, I, I keep forgetting the, 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 the regions guys. Alright, and then Berserker, so this one, I believe I hatched it, and then I evolved it. Alright, next one is Surfetch also, which I believe I also obtained, I can't remember from how, but it might be from a research or something like that, I really cannot remember. And then eventually, oh yeah, it was from a research, yeah, correct, I now remember. And then my I know, uh, my Mel Melton, I have one uh, shiny Melton, that was CP69. So yeah, I think that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video in terms of all the Pokemon that I have registered into the shiny decks. This is my full complete um, shiny decks. It's been asked many times to be shown, but I have not shown it yet because um, I do not really complete the Pokedex. Maybe I should strive to complete the Pokedex and the shiny decks and whatever decks, maybe. In the future all right so uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this video of me showing my shiny pokedex collection if you guys did definitely leave a like on the video be much appreciated thank you very much and let me know in the comment section down below uh, what pokemon are you guys missing in your shiny pokedex collection and how far are you guys away from completing it and if you guys are even striving to complete it at all all right so with that said i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video all right Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!